awesome sauce! Scene one, Apple, take one. Boiling the water out of it. I just got done washing it and um, I'm going to be making some mushroom soup. And This is cream of mushroom soup. Now you can use this um, as itself, just by itself, or you can use it, as I'm going to, as an extra filling for turkey pot pies because I have my leftover turkey um, from Thanksgiving I'm going to make turkey pot pies with, but I also want to have some uh, cream mushroom soup. So let's go ahead and make some. Okay, so that's been boiled out. So let's go ahead and get started. A stick of butter, olive oil, this is going to help prevent the butter from burning, but allow us to keep that butter flavor, which is important. This is diced onions. This is only a half of an onion. That's all we really need for the soup. This is black pepper, of course. I'm sure you are familiar with it. You can add more onion if you want to. Okay. I don't want to have the uh, Onion be an overpowering flavor to the soup, though. A little bit of salt. A bunch of fresh thyme from the garden. And you want to go the opposite direction of the uh, leaves. So grabbing them like this, pulling them down. Then that way you can remove the stem. If the little stem gets in there, it's okay. You should always have the thyme for thyme. This is garlic. You want to put the garlic in a little bit later because if you put it in too early, you might actually burn it. And these are baby bella mushrooms. You can use whole mushrooms if you want to. Um, but it's usually better to cut them up. And then this is just some regular, just some regular old mushrooms right here. Okay. <clears throat> a little bit of salt. Thyme is an important uh, flavoring. For this so I'm, I'm going to be adding a little bit more and also this is this is fresh thyme um, it's going to taste a little bit different than dry thyme this is a little bit of chicken broth okay mushrooms are going to lose the water but they'll absorb any flavor that you put inside there we're also going to end up adding some of our thickening agent which is going to be just regular flour if you're gluten intolerant use corn starch or potato starch but this will give it an opportunity to lose some of that doughy flavor and also kind of get uh, dispersed throughout all of the um, liquid here. I'm going to be adding a little wine to this. It's not necessary. and You don't have to add a lot either, maybe a quarter of a cup, but it will definitely add to the flavor and it'll help clean up the pan. But pan doesn't look too dirty. And it's okay if you if you see stuff on the bottom start browning. That just means it's going to be more flavor. It's caramelization of the um, starches, parts of the uh, I live next to a marine airfield so that's what you're hearing. Um, but it's it's the starches caramelizing, it's the sugars and the onions, it's, it's everything caramelizing on the bottom and it ends up giving it a nice flavor so don't be afraid of that browning that happens. Right now it's not really browning a whole lot but the more we cook it the more browning uh, we will see and the more it will happen. Yeah. See that's starting to get a little brown right there. That's good news. It's kind of like what we're looking for. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some half and half to this because this is cream of mushroom, is it not? Okay, so that's pretty much the full thickening power right there. If you want to put an immersion blender, like I said, you can make this really creamy, okay? Uh, let, me, uh, let me grab a little bit of this, find out what it needs. going to need some salt. It's going to need some black pepper. I'm going to add a touch more 
oregano, a little bit of parsley. Okay, I added a little bit of onion powder and um, I'm going to be adding a little bit more chicken broth to this. Turn this up because we have to get this back to a boil again or it won't thicken to its um, full consistency. And then I'll taste it one more time just to make sure that we're golden, which I'm pretty sure we are because the last time I tasted it, it was phenomenal. The method that I'm using here is pretty much the same method that you can use for any type of cream of soup, right? So if you want to do chicken, you can do chicken. You want to do cream of turkey, you want to do cream of broccoli. It's pretty much everything the same. The only difference is, is the um, mushrooms or what you would change to the main ingredient, right? Um, sometimes people will put celery and carrots in it. You can do that. So now that we have this at a slight oil, it'll start thickening everything. And of course as this sets, it'll start thickening even more. It's just the way that it is, but that's good. And that's a good consistency, I think. So we can go ahead and, um, <clears throat> one last taste, just to see where we're at. It's got a very, um, elegant and classy taste. It's the only way I can describe it. It doesn't taste cheap at all. I don't like it when they don't put any mushrooms. <laughs> they yeah, look like where great. it's just cream, yeah. Well, no, it's, yeah. It's cream of mushroom flavor. And then grated, um, it looks like grated mushrooms. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. So, no, it's, it's a little warm, but it's, I don't think it's that hot. It's just cold in here. Mmm, it's good. Even the consistency of it's just right. Mm -hmm. It's not too um, thick or thin. But it tastes expensive, huh? Yeah, it's really good. When you were cooking, I go, oh my god, it smells so good. It tastes better without cracker. <laughs> you don't really need without. it. Without? Yeah, you don't really need it. But if I put that in a fancy bowl and at a fancy restaurant, I could totally charge $15 for it. Yeah. It is really good. Anyone who's a mushroom lover will die for this soup. It's really, I just go. But anyway, guys, that's that. That's how I make cream mushroom soup. So um, until next time, I guess I'll just talk to you later. And stay tuned uh, because I'll be making turkey pot pies. And I'm going to be using this kind of as a filling for it as a gravy that goes inside. So until next time, talk at you later.